So, right, as part of our move, obviously we need to find a house. And uh, looked at some rental properties, not much in the rental market. There was a lovely house for sale for about £20,000. It's a bit run down, admittedly, but we haven't got quite that sort of cash at the moment. But what I did find is white guest house. It's not a racist thing, I don't think, but it's right in the middle of uh, Carlovo. Is that, yeah, Carlovo. Still, still thinking of the places, right? Here it is. Um, it's right in the centre of town. It's twelve quid a night. I'm thinking bargain. What's that? Twelve quid a night is like to eighty quid ish a week, and I'm earning two hundred and thirty after tax. If we spend, you know, I can eat at the club. I can save like hundred quid a week here. Um, you know, to, to towards buying and getting a deposit or finding somewhere nice. And it's a decent little place. We have got set forty yards to the centre of Carlovo. Um, We've got TVs. Some places have a fridge. So that would be good. Fridges are useful. Um, we've got a shower. Free toilets. Because, you know, nobody likes paying for toilets. A kettle. Ironing facilities. Um, Wi-Fi. Obviously got to get Wi-Fi. How do I record these episodes if we don't have Wi-Fi? I'll go with it. Um, I think it's pretty decent. Well, we're going to start off at the White Guest House, I think. And look at that. Look at the size of that TV there. What? What? What a great, what a great image. Um, TV, big, big TV there, um, and it, it looks nice and clean. Does the job. That will be our place for the next couple of months, probably until we find somewhere better to live. Uh, let me know if you fear any good properties. Right, run the intro and let's talk you through the fucking transfers because we've been a busy boy. Greetings and salutations my friends, welcome to episode 11 of The Journeyman, and we're well entrenched in our new team, who I still can't quite remember the name of, Levski Karlovo. Um, we found an apartment, it's pretty decent, it'll do, the little guest house for the time being. We've made a bunch of transfers, um, which we'll talk about, we've even played a couple of games because we joined so late into the transfer window that we started playing league games already. Um, and uh, let me take you through the transfers first. So, as you'll see, all these players that left have already left. Um, and one player had joined us, which was Zappers. Uh, his name is... Um, what's his what's his full name? Uh, Zap Ryan, Zap Ryanov, or Zappers, as he's now called. Uh, he was already here. But the, we've brought in some players. We've spent some money. Look at that. Big money. Big money. Um, so we've got Vasil Gudshev. This, the, these names going to kill me. Um, just a sort of defensive midfielder option. I'm actually retraining him as a left back because he actually makes a pretty decent left back. So that's what we're going to be doing on that side of things. Um, struggled to find a few positions. Um, he's on a mighty £110 a week. Then we've got Harry Owen. For, this was, I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help myself. Uh, Harry Owen from Cardiff Met Uni. He's on 150. He's one of our highest paid players and also one of our worst players. So that's good. But I wanted to bring someone along. I tried to get Aaron Lemon. He wanted 300 quid a week or something. No, I love you, Lemon, but no. I was trying to be nice, giving you a job, but you were awful. You were awful for Cardiff Met Uni. Um, so, yeah. But we've got Harry Owen in the club. He's going to be like a rotational striker. Then we've got Miroslav Ivanov. 21-year-old um, Bulgarian. They're all Bulgarians apart from Harry Owen. Uh, Five-star possible potential. Looks like he could be a decent centre-back option. I, th I quite like the look of this guy. Uh, 80 quid a week. Absolute bargain. We've then, uh, so eight grand we bought him from, I shouldn't say name team names because that's just going to, uh, Zarsko Cello. No, I don't know either. Um, played a few games for them last season. Then we got Dimitar Beydakov, <laughs> who's going to be our main striker. I think he looks pretty good. Can play uh, as a number 10, also up front. And uh, pretty good, well-rounded stats. Again, 24 years old, so he's still going to improve. Then we've got uh, Milian Savov, who's our right-back option. Um, just a sort of solid-ish right-back without being spectacular. We've got, fuck me sideways, Liu B B Boromir. We've got Boromir. He's B Boromir, but we're going to call him Boromir. Um, Ilyev, and he is a very good centre-back option. Another decent centre-back. Only 22, so he's going to improve. He needs a bit of work on his physicals, which I'm not delighted by. And Zunyet Ali, 
or Deli Ali, um, as we might end up calling him. Um, he's our sort of backup rotational left back option and a sort of decent all rounder. We're still building the team because, as you saw in the last episode, we've got a tiny, tiny team. Um, it's it's still too small. We're still missing positions, but we have had to play games, and we've lost them both. Um, but Dunav are the most. They are favourites to go up. And we played Dunav, and we didn't have any right back or right winger. Like, no one at all. Nobody that could even play there, even in our reserves or under 19s. Literally no one. And we couldn't. We only had two people on the bench, and they're favourites to win the league. And they won 2 0. But if you look at the match stats, I'll take you through. We're playing a new formation as well, by the way, guys. So I'll take you through um, that as well. Match stats. We, we did all right. I was quite surprised. We hit the woodwork, um, created a few chances. You know, a draw wouldn't have been unheard of there. And then we played Semptomri Terval. No, we didn't. I'm, why am I looking there? Why am I looking there? That's that's not even close. Uh, Vidosha Bistristra. And we lost against them at 1-0. We're going to get names for all these teams, aren't we? Um, but again, look at the stats. Held our own. A draw could have easily been on the cards. We hit the woodwork. Two good chances that both hit the woodwork. Uh, very disappointing with that. But... And they're much better sides than us, and we still didn't have a complete team. So there's definite chance that we could do really well in this save, I think. We've got one player I want to show you. I won't show you all the players that are possibly coming in, but I want to show you the big money signing. Right. Actually, I'll show you the guys that... We'll see. We'll see them as we come in, hopefully, because we're going to play a game today, obviously. Um, we are playing um, Locomotive Sophia. I knew that name. Brilliant. Um... And who are currently first in the league, so that's good. Uh, this is the tactic we're doing. We're playing a four-two-three-one DM wide. Uh, we had some. We've got some good defensive midfielders, so that's what we've gone with. Um, as well as, uh, as you can see, we still haven't got a right winger in. Um, still filling that role. Zappa's on the left. Stevanov and Baydakov and Amrov and Dikolov and Gustav Kamarov, Grativkov and Savov. Just assume every name's got of on the end and you'll be fine. Um, so we're still working on the team. We haven't actually built a team today, but I think we've, we've, have we got a game today. Yes. Okay. Remember, we are only supposed to battle against relegation, so that's not too much of an issue. Um, we're only spending 2,600, and I only need about three or four more players. So I put a little bit into the transfer budget of our wages. Uh, so we've got 40 grand, and we're going to spend that on a player. He's a big name player. It's a bit of a punt because he's very young, but I think he could be a very good player. So let's. Should we just get straight into the game though? Because players are not fit, so we need to fix that. <clears throat> um. Right, you can play there. We're gonna need nicknames, people. We're gonna. Oh, there must be at least two under twenty. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Got all the under twenty ones on the bench. Okay, you can go. There. There. I quite like that rule. I think that's a good rule to have to introduce more young players. Right. Come on. Let's pick up some points here. <clears throat> Still not entirely hopeful. We don't have a right winger. But I think eventually we'll get there. We've got a couple of good players coming in. So um, evenly matched teams. I'll show you. Uh, I'll quickly show you one thing. <clears throat> um, the season preview. We are 30 to 1 now. We, we've dropped down. We were like, I think, 150. Then I took the job. Obviously, that went down. Then we were down to 60. And now we're down to 30. They're, they're, even though we've lost two games. So they can obviously see what we're building here. So I'm, I'm quietly confident of a good season. I think maybe top half this season and then push for promotion the next. Going in strong on... Yeah, let's go in on strong. Oh, jeez. Oh, my Lord. Um, can we undo that? You just said one guy. You just said one. Bloody hell. Um, encourage the team. Well, good. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, go out there and impress me. Because I don't speak... Uh, what I've noticed is because I don't speak the language, um, I, I get a lot more worse reactions when I'm trying to say stuff. I think that's because of the language barrier. Um, even when you say... The, the stuff that I know always works. When I, I've got faith in you, and, and sometimes you get a guy going, what? I'm not religious. Um, and I think that's because of the language barrier. Right, here we are at the mighty Carl Caro. Oh, fucking hell, I need to learn the team name of my own team. It's um, Carlover, isn't it? Carlover is the city. 
So Levski Karlova. Um, I had a look on uh, Google Maps at the city. It looks like a nice place. In the foothills of the mountains, it's, it's a pretty nice place to live. Right, here we go. Come on. We haven't actually scored a goal yet, so that would be nice to get in the first proper episode. We are going to need to do um, nicknames. I apologise to anyone that is from Bulgaria that doesn't want me to do nicknames, but these are confusing. That's a lovely dribble, though. That's beautiful. Oh, he's just driven it wide. Bey Dakov. We need uh, Bey Dakov. What can we call him? Right, here we go. Vizhishki. I'm, I'm not confident with these names. Commentary is going to be tricky. Petrov. Petrov. I got him. Okay. Misyak. <laughs> Georgiev. Misyak. Amazing. Buzikis. Oh, that's he's so. Oh my lord, that's a good effort. This is that's like being back at car. Big big crowd here today, people. To turn up, there's two people there. I can see. There's one behind the stats. Um. Oh wait, there's five there. Oh Jesus Christ! So we we've seen sort of seven people. At, le at least seven. Okay, Vitkov with the uh, kick. I'm doing my default Russian accent. Vitkov. Winners, winners, nice. Give it to Zappy, because I know his name. That's it. Zappers. I didn't I've got it wrong. Zappers. Petrov with a good tackle. Ball forward. Hoofed forward. Good bit of defensive work. Uh, they kept it though, Nikolov. Oh. Okay, that's fine. That's a lovely ball forward. And Baydakov. Baydakov! He's not got the pain. Oh, oh interesting. <laughs> I love that little hop. It looks so out of place. Um, he he look, didn't look the paciest then, did he? There's an issue there. I think that it might, we might bring on the mighty Harry Owen uh, in the uh, second half. Um, we've held our own. We've had a cut. See, look, there you go. Sort of. It, um, I've got faith in you. I've got faith. Yeah, the team talks a little bit more of a struggle until I learn the language. Bit of Bulgarian. Which is kind of understandable because I'm basically just going blah, 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 to them. So, it's fair enough. Oh no, Baydakov is injured. I think it's a sign. It's a sign that it's time for Harry Owen. He's so bad. He's not going to get much game time this season. I'll let you, I'll let you know now. Um, he, he's not very good. But we had to bring somebody with us. Just as a mate, more than anything. Somebody we can talk to and hang out with, I think. He can stay in the guest house with me. Some of the players might call that favouritism, but it is what it is. See, we're definitely holding our own, which I like to see. We just need to actually score a goal. I don't know if that's too much to ask. Um, we want to go Ivanov for you. Right, 20 minutes left. Right, S Savov. <coughs> Filipov. Savov. Ball in. Yes! Come on! We'll take a shitty own goal all day long. Come on, boys. Get in there. Um, with the tactic, just because I forgot to say, uh, I haven't, I've got one instruction, I think. I can't even remember what that is. I'm keeping it very simple to begin with, and then we'll build it up. But I like the... Start we've had to this even see the, the season because two losses, but we played well both games. Cheeky time wasting sub, I feel like happening here. He's knackered, and hopefully, after the game, I'll get to show you my superstar sign. What I hope to be my superstar signing. I right, clear it away. 20 seconds left. Come on, don't do this to me. Just let me have this. Let me have this. Yes, great header away by that guy there. That guy there's got it. He's passed it to that guy over there. Crossed into that guy over there. Keeper's done really well. <laughs> That's actually quite good. Yes! We're on the board, boys. We're on the board. Get in. Um, let's actually say very nice victory. Well done, everyone. Well done. Right. I will oh, how long's the engine for? Fourteen days, okay. So let me show you the transfers that we've hopefully got coming in. I think it's going to happen. Um, 
so these are the guys we've got. We're still scouting lots and everything like that. But these are the guys uh, we've got. Uh, Stenislav Ivanov um, is a lone right winger because we don't have one. Um, hopefully he'll come in. He's like a decent young player. And um, we've got coming in on a free. Hopefully is another right winger. Um, decent physicals on this guy. Good natural fitness, which is lovely at this level. He's only uh, 23 as well. He's going to improve. Looks like a very good player. Um, uh, His Haristo Kidev. And um, then we've got another right winger. You know, always good to have options, right? Valentin Veslinov, okay, is an, he's like a third choice. If we don't get one of the other two, we'll keep it. We'll keep him as a backup. But the big one, the big one that's coming in for twenty thousand pounds plus twelve grand over thirty six months plus twenty grand if he plays fifty games, <clears throat> almost enough to bankrupt the club, is Ivan Tilev. You think he's, he's not amazing? I don't, don't get me wrong, but he's only 18 years old. He's a central midfielder, and I think he could be really good. I'm thinking longer term, maybe you know we sell him for half a million down the road or something like that because he could be a decent player. He's got good determination and work rate. He's going to improve with that. We give him some help along the way. His passing and tackling is both good. He's a good all rounder, and. I, he was like, well, to be fair, he was the only good youngster that would come to me. But he's still very good. I think he can be a very good player for this team. Um, all right, so we've got the new guys in. That's good. Um, yeah, so here's the league table. We're 11th. Remember, four do go down, so it's going to be horrible. So, right, there we go, guys. If it, it, Let me know what you think of this beautiful new team. The transfers I've made, what you think of that youngster. Um, probably bankrupt the club for it, but, it, you know, it'll be worth it, right? We can always... Move on. If if we bank, we just go round Europe bankrupting clubs. I think that might be a plan as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to learn more about um, fucking hell. I can't remember the team name. Uh, <laughs> we're going to learn more about Carlovo over the period. I think we'll get some information. If you want, you guys want to do any Google searches and find any information, or if you're a local, it seems like a beautiful area and there is some decent house prices for sale. So we could potentially live here for a couple of years. Quite happily. It uh, looks like a lovely little town to live in. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the place. Share it with your mates. That is always much appreciated. I, can't, I always try and favourite people that tweet out my, you know, the videos and stuff. Because I do, it does mean a lot to me. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.